And I know what you're thinking, what the hell is going on? The car was freshly painted a few months ago and now it's not shiny anymore. And I've started sanding the whole car back. I've pulled it apart and I'm going to respray it, but we're gonna to get to that towards the end of the video. Uh, but more importantly, welcome back to the channel. My name is Damien. And as you can see by the title of this video, today, um, well, obviously this is filmed in the future, but in this episode, we're going to um, start this car up for the first time since I've ever owned it. I've never driven it, I've never heard it run, so my reaction was a little bit emotional, I guess you could say. But um, yeah, before we start this episode, we'll have a quick look what happened previously. And with then we have to do a little bit of work to get the car ready for its engine. We're gonna put the engine in and then we're gonna start it. So in a nutshell, the previous episode was all about taking our dirty old $500 RB engine and giving it a bit of a makeover, getting it ready for it to go back into the car. And then towards the end of the video, I told you guys that you can participate in this build series by helping me choose what color to paint the valve covers. I wasn't really too fussed what color to paint them and I was keen to hear a few good options. And the one I liked the most was Nardo Gray or Wrinkle Nardo Gray, somebody commented, I'm not exactly sure. But it turns out that the crowd favorite was red. So I got in contact with a guy on Facebook that won, sorry, on Instagram, uh, that you know got the most likes in the comment section. And it turns out he just wanted the red like they come out of the factory. So that is the color we're gonna be painting the rocker covers. Thank you to everyone that uh, left a comment. There were definitely a few uh, good options down there. But yeah, the crowd favorite was red. Do keep in mind that all the footage I'm about to show you guys has been collected over the past few months. So I guess let's start episode 19 right now. Alrighty, so I'm actually gonna be dropping the rear subframe and the fuel tank once again. And the reason for that is on the Sylvia, I didn't hook up the fuel lines properly and it's an absolute nightmare to drop when you have wheels on it and the rear diff. So I figured while everything is nice and light, and there's no fuel in the tank, I'm just gonna drop it all, make sure that those fuel lines are um, attached properly because you can't really get to them once the tank is in. And yeah, once that's all good, we'll refit everything and pretty much I don't think that should ever have to come out again. Just as I thought, we did have an issue. It was very, very simple. I could have fixed it from inside the car in less than like 30 seconds. It was just the one-way valve was positioned the wrong way around, but I figured I'm gonna drop everything, double check it because I've had major issues with fueling with the Sylvia where I had to drop everything and double check everything because I didn't do it properly. Now that I've made it a mistake twice, hopefully the third time around I'll get it right. But yeah, mistakes happen and it's good that it happened in the workshop and not on the road or on the dyno. Next up was the very satisfying moment of cleaning up the parts that firstly came off the car when I brought it into the workshop, getting them ready to put.
you thread it in from the bottom, it's gonna work its way up. Way up, yeah. 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 Supplies, everything. Yeah. Yeah. Did you click the thing? Oh no. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Just getting a more tighter contact. I just want to see what the motor looks like in the car when it's sucked down, eh? Yeah. Like it's mid, with the rocket cover and shit, you know? Yeah. Well, but, where's the rocket cover? It's on the fucking... It was on the forklift, wasn't it? Oh. Oh. Let's get the... Let's get the strap on. Woo! Hey! Johnny, give us a wave, mate. <laughs> 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 That's definitely going in the video. <laughs> oh, Ooh. oh, there's not much. It's not cool. bad. But do you want to pull that through? That's pretty good, actually. That's actually, uh... Mate. It's optional extra. <laughs> what? The scratch? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Comes with the car. Bit of heritage. Yeah, boy. Wow. Where's the one in the middle? True. You know what? I, um, I reckon it looks better when you can see the coil packs if you have good ones in there. And just like that, with the help of a few friends, the engine was secured in the car along with the gearbox. So the next job was the wiring. Probably my least favorite thing on the car just because I don't know enough about it. So my friend Dan came out. He gave me a hand with most of the wiring. He plugged his computer in, we wired in a few sensors, he put a, just a basic tune in it to be able to start the car, and yeah, that's what you're about to see now. So don't mind the mess in the boot, but we are using a Walbro 450 uh, fuel pump. It is brand new, figured I'd put it in just to make sure everything is okay. And then moving to the front, we're using 1000cc injectors that I bought second hand for a couple hundred bucks, and they were serviced by Advanced Injector Servicing. I figured I'd get them double checked just to make sure they are okay um, and yeah they serviced up really nice so that's another little thing ticked off the list.
bolt under the plane. We should still start. Are you sure? Yeah, it's gonna fucking run like shit. Well, let's see if it starts when yeah. we go start. Do you wanna hold the. Just make sure the camera's rolling. Yeah, we're rolling. Ready? Yep. And as you can see by my facial expression, I was not expecting this car to start at all. And yeah, it took me a moment to realize what actually happened. So a few days after that, we put the exhaust on, did a little bit more work, and my friend Preston and I decided to give it another crank. And this is where we realized we had a few problems. And that was that the naturally aspirated block was threaded for the oil feed, but it was not drilled, which means the turbo never got oil, so we're gonna have to fix that issue. And we found another few little issues like exhaust leaks and yeah, there's still plenty of work to be done. So, plenty more episodes to come. And I'd say we're all caught up on what's been happening with the R34 behind the scenes and it'll be a matter of weeks before I've got enough footage worthy of a full episode. So what I'm going to do now is uh, the next video is actually going to be my first vlog and it won't be a video of me uploading daily, uh, changing three wheel nuts and topping up the blinker fluid. Instead, uh, they're going to be like really creative and cinematic videos that I've been planning on making for a little while and it's also going to expand past these, I guess, four walls in the workshop. And after the first video of the vlog, I'm going to release all the footage I've got with the S14 Sylvia because we did get the car running, but I haven't shown you guys. Um, and then by the time I get all the footage for the Sylvia out, we're going to jump back onto this car and finish it off. So we'll see you soon. See, that wasn't too hard. Bro, that camera was going to